Hey, it's Promise, the CEO and Creative Director here at Go Live, and I'm back with another website critique. Today, we're looking at Melissa Frey's website. Melissa submitted her website knowing full well that it was going to be a public critique, so she was knew what she was she knew what she was getting herself into, and I hope um, that you can take away a few tips today. Um, from this website critique. So I'm going to be honest and talk about a couple of things that she's doing really well and a couple of things that need improvement on. So let's get started. First off, Melissa is a book author, um, editor, YouTuber, and lover of stories. And she has a little welcome message here. And then she talks about her services. I'm a book editor and content creator who helps you tell your unique story and present your best work to the world. And then there's a couple testimonials and um, she's promoting the book that she wrote right here. So overall, my first impression is I think the design is very clean and very beautiful. I love the, um, the blue that you've incorporated. This looks very branded, but very simple too. And then I also think that the photo shoot looks amazing. So um, Melissa, you obviously know about branding and marketing and the importance of creating a consistent brand. I think you've done that beautifully and then laid out everything very nicely as well. It all looks organized and not cluttered. It looks very clean. However, that there's a couple of things that I did want to talk about. Um, well, and I also want to say that when I land on your website, I know exactly what you do. You're an author, a book editor, YouTuber, and lover of stories. And I think that's perfect. However, as the end customer, I don't know offhand just looking at this page, especially when I first land on it, I don't know what you have to offer to me until I get down here and see. And see. I am a book editor content creator who helps you tell your unique story and present your best work to the world. I would highlight this and put this at the top because when someone lands on your website, they're always subconsciously going to be thinking, but what's in it for me? And so you want to highlight that part. You want it to be all about your end customer and less about yourself. So I would add that up, up there as well. And then second of all, I feel like there's so many navigation tabs up here that I feel a little intimidated, but some of them I think can be removed. For example, um, home can just be deleted because a lot of people know to click on the name or the logo to go back to home. And then also the YouTube and then this link can just be on an icon over here so it doesn't look like a navigation tab because basically you don't just, you don't want to overwhelm people when they come to your website. You want to highlight the navigation tabs that you want people spending their most the most time on. So those are the ones you want to stand out. So I believe that deleting the home one and then taking away the YouTube and then this link would um, help that uh, eliminate that confusion. So, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about was I went to services and I saw that you have editing, content creation, and web design. I would have loved to have seen this on the home page. So I would have seen your big statement that's, that talks about what you can do for me and then the services that you offer. I would have loved to have seen that um, just because you only have three to five seconds to entice someone to stay on your website. And I really feel like that would have drawn me in and would have made me feel like, oh, she has so much to offer to me. So that's what I would do in that as well. And then um, the about page, I was surprised. I feel like I wanted more of a story about who you were and about, you know, your history and, you know, what you love, like some more personal things. And I just got a list of um, just things that didn't really make sense to me. <laughs> so I would love to hear more of your story. And then the last thing I wanted to say was um, you offer your book a lot and your book is marketing, I would imagine, to a different person than you than you want to be marketing to when you're marketing your services to. Um, so as your customer that's landing on your website, when I feel like you're you're marketing a, just like a book to me, um, I feel like, oh wait, I thought you were gonna help me, and then now I'm feel like I'm helping you by buying your book. So I think your books are something that you can mention maybe at the bottom of your about page just to showcase credibility that you are an author. But I wouldn't also try to market the sales of the book on your website. You really want to market your services that you can help other people. Um, write better and you can do the writing for those people. So I feel like that's a little bit of a conflict of interest. But other than that, I feel like you have a really clean and beautiful website. And I love the um, just the product and the service that you have to offer customers. So many people need um, writing help, even with social media. Um, so there's so much opportunity there. So Melissa, I cannot wait to see what tips you implement from this.